morning. My name is Barb. I'm the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. You've just seen we have many, many, many books here today. And I have just had my book tin ready for everybody this Christmas. It's called Cover Bundles. Can you guess who the cover bundles are? Yes, they are Liberty, Ebony Rose, and Pippa. And because I have a new book out ready for Christmas, I thought I'd just read you a little bit from their very first book when Liberty was found and we brought her home. Liberty's blind and she's my co-author and all the books are her books. We've worked on them together for a long, long time. I think it's been about 10 years. So here's her very first book today. The Diaries of Liberty the Pug. We write our books, Liberty, so that children will understand kindness with love for animals, because we don't want any more in puppy mills, do we? That's for sure. Let me give them a little treat and I'll begin. Let me see here. One, Liberty, Ebony Rose, and beautiful Pippa, who have new dresses today ready for Christmas. Okay, here we go then. Book one, Going Home. Hi, my name is Liberty. You can call me Libby. I'm a little fawn pug, and I'm hoping that by sharing my diary with you, my words will inspire and encourage you to become more loving and closer with all the pets you have in your life. So please peek and enjoy reading my diary. Remember, Liberty is reading. And the first chapter in here is Going Home. Let's see. Today is Memorial Day. Just another day for me waking up with the smell under my nose. The smell of pea-soaked newspaper. How long will I be alone, living in a glass case in this pet store? I've been in this pet store a long time. I hope someone will take me home and love me. I heard the store employees whispering, the little fawn pug has been with us six months. And if somebody doesn't want to buy the little fawn pug and take her home very soon, she will be sent back to the puppy mill. Sent back? No, please don't send me back to that terrible place. I was brought to this pet store very sick from the puppy mill, and I hope I never have to go back. I can hear noises. One of the store employees is unlocking the door and getting ready to open the store for the day. The lights are switched on. The store is suddenly very bright, and the bright lights are hurting my eyes. The customers are coming into the store. I stretch and turn away from the brightness of the store light that is shining in my window. Wait, a shadow on my window. I turn my face slowly. Are you listening, Pippa? I look and see two faces looking back at me. The faces are smiling and pointing. Can this be my lucky day? <gasps> yes, yes, a store employee is lifting me out of my glass case. <gasps> the man that was looking into my window is now carrying me out of the store. He has strong arms holding me close. I can feel his heart beating. I feel warm and safe for the very first time. I look up with my big, round, pug eyes into his face. He is smiling down at me. The lady laughs and she cups my cheeks in her warm, soft hands, looking at me. I'm being carried outside the shopping mall and I can see blue sky for the first time. The sky is so blue and beautiful. We are riding in a truck. I curl up on the lady's lap, listening to them talk about me home 
and giving my me a name. <gasps> I hope the name won't hurt. I fall asleep. Do you know where your pets were born and who they lived with before they came to live with you? That's a very good question, isn't it? Now you've heard the very first chapter in Liberty's life, finding her forever home. So please join us with all the stories at www.thediariesoflibertythepug.com and please, I don't even have my new book yet. It's coming in the mail, but you can order them today. You can order all the books anytime you want on Amazon. So please, if you're not able to get the books, they are on Kindle also. You can see the books, hear the books, and I'm always there every week reading the books. So you want to meet Liberty, Ebony Rose, and Pippa each week or any other day. It doesn't matter which day you choose and what number story you hear. They're all individual stories and you too can hear about Liberty's life in her forever home. Thank you for watching today. Let me show you her story, her picture here. There she is when we found her, her mommy and daddy, Barb and Terry, right there. Bye-bye for now. You stay safe.